Yesterday, Apple released the fifth beta of iOS 13 to developers, bringing new bug fixes and adding a few different features to iOS 13 and iPadOS. And so in this video, we're gonna take a look at what's new in iOS 13 beta 5. Before we get started, be sure to subscribe and hit the bell to get notifications whenever we share a video. Starting off with iPadOS, one of the first major differences is the ability to adjust app icon size. You can set the app grid to be 4x5 or 6x5, which results in either bigger or smaller icons. The more setting shows up to 30 smaller app icons, while the bigger setting shows up to 20 larger app icons. If you have multiple windows open of the same app and you close a window, there's now a new reopen closed window option in the top right corner. And if you have multiple windows open inside of Safari, you can actually merge them all into one window with corresponding tabs by long pressing the tabs button and selecting merge all windows. Finally, if you're using a mouse in iPadOS, you can now adjust the cursor size even further with a few additional size options available inside of the settings app. The home app received a few new backgrounds to spice up the look of the app, which you can now choose from a few various new colors. The volume HUD received a couple of changes. For starters, there are now 34 levels of volume, allowing for smaller adjustments to the sound. The volume slider also offers haptic feedback when maximizing or minimizing the volume, and it's a bit skinnier too. The LTE 4G 5GE icon on the iPhone is now larger and sized to match the other icons at the top right of the iPhone's display. There's also a quick way to swap between light and dark mode. Inside of the accessibility menu in the settings app, under accessibility shortcut, there is a new accessibility shortcut that allows for users to triple click the side button to switch between dark mode and light mode. This is much faster than heading into Control Center or the Settings app. Inside of the Activity app, there are new Move Goal awards for hitting your Move Goals for 1250, 1500, 1750, and 2000 times. Finally, the Share Sheet has also received an update that added sections for your favorite shortcuts, the current app that's open, and other sections. Each section is grouped together, making it easier to navigate your way through the entire share sheet. Let us know your thoughts on this new beta for iOS 13 and iOS 13 in general in the comment section down below. This has been Dan with MacRumors. Thanks for watching, and I hope to see you around in the next video.